Hey, what's up guys? Back today with another video. Today's video, I will be reviewing this Launch X431 5 Pro Scanner. I've had it so far for about six weeks and I'm liking it so far. It's currently on Amazon for just under 700 bucks. So if you're in the market for a good mid-range scanner, then I believe this is it. I also have the smaller Launch Elite 2.0 Mercedes-Benz scanner that this company makes as well. It's currently on sale for only 150. I recommend that for my Mercedes owners as it is also bi-directional. I'll post the link in the description. I'm gonna go ahead and start it. And I'm gonna go ahead and scan my Chevy Malibu that currently has a transmission code. Um, cool thing about this little scanner it saves every vehicle you scan. These are all the vehicles I've scanned so far, Honda, Nissan, Jaguar, um, Ford, Volkswagen, Mercedes. So I've already scanned a few cars, I've already played with it, and it's been great. Um, I really got, there's really no downfall, honestly. Um, this is not the original box. Um, originally it comes with two boxes. They're about the size of this one. So I consolidated everything into this one just to make things easier for me. Carry just one box instead of two. Um, it's an Apache from Harbor Freight. I think it was like 30 bucks. Um, the, the box it comes with, there's nothing wrong with it. It's honestly a really nice box, but it was just two boxes. I didn't like that. So I just had to put it into two. So I took all the OBD1 connectors and I merged them all into this box. Just grabbed the foam and um put all the wires in here and then have this foam padding that i put right above it i took this off to the side i put the scanner right here and it keeps everything in place nothing moves around but it is a bluetooth scanner um it also gets wi-fi it's an android tablet so you just connect your hotspot from your phone if you're not at home and you can plug in if you are at home, the nice thing about the Bluetooth ones is, you know, you can plug into your vehicle, go back inside, run back inside your house, sit on your couch and scan it, you know, research everything, you know, from the comfort of your home. So that's a big plus, but I'm going to go ahead and plug into this one so I can show you guys, you know, kind of how it works and why I like it. So just to clarify, you don't have to be connected to Wi-Fi to use the scanner, but it does make life easier as far as um, researching the cones. Sorry, researching the codes straight from the scanner um, instead of, you know, Googling it on a tablet, you know, laptop or your phone. So you just go ahead, plug it into your OBD2 port. The car doesn't have to be on, but the switch does have to be on. I'm running the car because it was dead, so I had to jumpstart it. That's why you see the jumper over there. But um, the car's been sitting for a while because of that transmission code. I haven't scanned it with the scanner yet. I just scanned it with the generic OBD2 reader just to get an idea. But now I have time to scan it. So I already plugged it in. All I have to do is go um, intelligent diagnose and it'll auto, auto read the VIN. And it'll tell you it sometimes it'll ask you like three prompts like it'll say was it made from this year to this year or like you know something like this like if it's an ev or if it's just a regular um gasoline engine so as soon as you get to this page right here just go diagnostic it'll give you all the vehicle info right here on this side right here the vin your engine number your year um and then you can go like, let's say health report if you're researching something for a customer system selection if you want to be specific um and then you got system scan which is very similar to health reports almost it's almost the same exact thing except health report makes it a little easier when it comes to sharing it like let's say you're scanning for a customer and you want to email them um all the info it makes it a lot easier um you know if you want to calibrate anything common functions um like the auto start stop you can disable that on here um health report you just go ahead and scan it and it'll scan within two minutes so it's very fast. Um, this vehicle right here should have a lot of faults though because it's an auction vehicle. So, and I haven't started it in like a month. The battery was dead, so I had to jumpstart it. Um, so you see, I'm getting a lot of fault codes already. And this scanner will, will break all those codes down for me and make it easy to um, research everything. And it'll go straight. Like if I want to, I can Google it right here from the scanner as long as I'm connected to Wi Fi and it'll. Um, and it'll save you the trouble of having to research the code later on your phone or something like that. Not only that, but it saves everything on here. So 
it makes it easy to come back you know revisit this a week later you know and i don't have to go back and plug into the vehicle so it's still loading it's been maybe a minute or so and it's almost done it's at 90 percent so it's a it's a very fast scanner for what it is also the battery life is great on this thing at the start of the video i was at 80 percent. i am still at 80 percent um from when i last charged it i've scanned maybe three vehicles i've spent about an hour no i'd say about 45 minutes or so so it's been over two hours and it's only lost see it barely dropped to 79 right now so it battery life is great on this thing but this is what i was saying i can just straight google it just hit the hit the little uh, magnifying glass with the google and it'll open it goes straight to the code straight to videos so it's it's great that's that's probably my favorite feature on this thing um but i can do that for all the codes um and it'll like you know it'll give me a brief summary if i you know tap on each one um but it's very specific so you can see there's a lot of things wrong with this car a lot of fault codes um but i can like scan like like specific i can enter for the tcm and like right now like i said the battery was dead but i know it does have transmission codes so um but yeah i can i can go like i can just like know know the module information it'll give me all the info so when i'm researching let's say i do have to replace the tcm this makes it easy because it already gives me the part number right there um so i don't have to you know look for a specific part and, and you know and have doubts when um looking something up on ebay for example and sometimes it'll say this will fit your vehicle well now you don't have a doubt you know it will because it's giving you the part number and you can match them up um so yeah i can clear the fault codes i can read freeze frames you know it's got more special functions on there for transmission relearn so like let's say um you're having issues and it could just be it needs to be relearned something like that uh, maybe you replace the ECU, maybe you replace the transmission itself, maybe you replace the TCU or the TCM in this case. Um, you would just, you know, do a relearn and then it'll give you some instructions. Sometimes it'll like, you know, key on, key off type of thing. You got to wait a few seconds. So it's it's pretty cool. But, oh, that that's another thing. So like, let's say you do exit the diagnostic side of things. Um it'll ring that alarm so that you don't forget to disconnect this guy just in case you're not sitting in the vehicle obviously right now i'm not gonna forget because it's right by my lap but like let's say i'm gonna i'm sitting you know in the shade in a chair behind the car or something this is just so you don't forget you know and it's a customer car you know what if the customer came from far and then they don't notice it um you know something like that comes in handy so like everything i've scanned before it'll show up in the diagnostic history so like right now i just scammed the truck or sorry the the car it's a chevy malibu it'll show up as gm i can always go back into it while it's disconnected and it'll have everything saved um same thing i can go like special like service functions so i can take off like the the light for um for oil change abs bleeding so it's got all these special functions brake reset battery matching clutch matching um codage for ecu so you know dpf region if you have a diesel so it's got a lot see immobilizer reset there's a lot of um a lot of functions a lot of things this tablet can do that you know you're probably not going to use you know if you're a diyer but it's very nice to have you know or you can always teach yourself um there's a lot of videos on youtube and then this company launch has great customer service as well anytime i've had an issue or i've had a question i haven't had issues yet but i have had questions they always get back to me right away so it's um that's also uh you know a huge plus you know something something that you know to others is um you know is very valuable um you know that way you're not left in the dark when you're you, you know when you got questions or when you have issues um but yeah it's got a it's got a lot of different things got remote diagnose um it's got a, a lot of other uh, i was going through it's got a lot of other functions as well in the in the photos um almost like instructions so these are all for vehicle alignment and it just goes on so there's a lot of there's a lot of info on the tablet there's a lot of things i still have to go through but you know it's got like a team viewer all the updates are on here as well um let me open the applications software updates you can go to and update them and they update quick um so i can just you know i can go ahead and update those hit update 
and it'll they'll update really fast you know just depending on your wi-fi obviously but you know they only take you know just a few minutes each um so it's constant constantly has updates every time i turn this thing on there's at least one update there waiting for me so you know for vehicles that are you know being released every day you know they're always um adding to the platform which is awesome um it also comes with the first two years i believe is free and then after that you do have to pay for the software so once the subscription expires you have to pay 350 dollars to renew the subscription in order to continue receiving updates the nice thing is that you can keep all the updates you've already downloaded on the scanner so you can keep using it to scan and diagnose cars but you won't be able to receive updates until you renew the subscription the nice thing about the mercedes scanner i mentioned before is that it has lifetime subscription meaning the subscription never expires this scanner i'm currently holding is centered more around people like myself who own and work on multiple car brands like domestic euro jdm and so on by the way have i mentioned how great the battery life is on this thing the battery has only dropped one percent since i've turned it on but you can see it's downloading go back or I can let it load. I'll probably just leave it plugged in, but I don't have to be hooked up to the car anymore, but go ahead and disconnect. But hope you guys liked the video. Um, it's got it. Oh, I forgot to mention. It's also got a camera, front facing camera, rear facing camera. Actually, I can go ahead and show you guys. So it's, it's not bad. But, um, yeah, hope you guys liked the video. Um, I'll be releasing more Mercedes content soon. Um, I've just been really busy, but bear with me, guys. Any comments, questions, concerns, let me know. I will leave everything in the description. So please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you, guys.